Hello everyone. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous Monday. Today I'm coming at you with another Minx Monday Q&A. So let's get started. Here are the questions and away we go. Uh, so the very first question is from Alex Lennox. Uh, what was your first ever LV? When was it and why did you end up getting it? Uh, my, first ev my first ever LV piece was actually my monogram clay. Uh, and it was, I think, oh man. <laughs> Uh, I'd say 12 years ago, 13 years ago. I don't even remember. It's been forever. And why did I get it? Uh, because at the time I could not afford to buy a bag. Um, it was extremely expensive and out of my, uh, out of my reach. So I really liked, uh, I've always really liked the accessories, um, that go in your bag. I've always carried accessories. And when I saw that little pouch, um, I'm like, I, I started thinking, Oh, I could use this for this and this. I, I mean, the possibilities were endless. And to this day, uh, I might switch it out because I have different prints, but I use it every single time that I have it with me. I use it, um, and I interact with it and it's such a great piece. So that thing has definitely st I mean, stayed in my collection and it has, it has, paid for itself a million times over. Um, okay. And what do you do as a job? How can you afford to get so much stuff? Uh, same thing. I answered it earlier this week. I'm not at liberty to say where I work. Uh, but I do I have an average, you know, an average job. Um, I'm an average Joe and uh, I work extremely hard for what I like. And uh, <laughs> my husband says that, unfortunately, for uh, for him and or for me, I uh, I I like the luxury goods. <laughs> uh, Lady Susan Jane, uh, have you used your classic flap? Why, yes, I have. <laughs> and I'm kind of a weirdo in the sense that I, if it's a really special bag. I have to have a really special reason for its debut. And then after that, I'll use it randomly. Uh, so my classic flap that I, uh, that I actually purchased in May of this year, I actually used it for the first time on our anniversary, on my husband and I anniversary, which was August 18th. So she had quite a bit of time sleeping up there, but uh, she did have her debut and she was absolutely stunning. <laughs> so yes, I have. I've used her. <laughs> and just so you guys know, the reason why I'm laughing so much, my cheeks actually hurt, is because Lady Susan Jane has literally asked me on my Instagram, she She's like, you need to use this bag. And I agree wholeheartedly. I just kept giving her so many excuses why I didn't use it. But now I put it to good use. Um, okay, so Super Dash 45. What do you think of the Louis Vuitton Mahina and Empreinte bags? Uh, the, the Mahina line I'm not a fan of. Um, I especially don't like it. And it's going to be kind of hard to say. I don't like slouchy bags. I don't like bags that lose their structure that much. And uh, the Mahina is very, um, it just, it, it kind of topples over too much for my taste. Uh, so I, I don't like it for that reason. However, the, the leather is ridiculously supple and it smells absolutely fabulous. <laughs> and as far as the Empreinte bags, um, I actually have my eye on an Empreinte bag. Uh, I don't like the fact that it's a bandolier, and I think I mentioned it in my last video, which is the Speedy B. Um, I don't, like I said, I wish it was just the bag itself without it being crossbody, or I'm sorry, a bandolier. And I absolutely love Empreinte. That I think it's the black Empreinte Artsy that there is. It is, oh my goodness. And talk, I mean, I, I talk about slouchy bags because the Mahina, like I said, is very slouchy. But um, I, I can, oh man, <laughs> the, that Artsy is just jaw-droppingly gorgeous. And um, I know it's going to be a little bit on the heavy side, but I think it's probably one of my favorites. Uh, but I really, I really do love the Empreinte line. Everything from the the handbags um, to the wallets, they're just absolutely gorgeous. Um, okay. Uh, Marlene Perez, what was your first name brand piece? LV, Hermes, or Chanel? And that would be good old LV, uh, which as I said before, was my monogram clay. 
Um, Trina Levers, the wonderful Trina Levers asks, how old were you when you bought your first piece? I think I was 18, something like that. I don't, I, I like, I seriously, like I said, I, I told you guys, I have a scatterbrain. I forget things easily. <laughs> um, but it seems like it was ages ago. I think I was 18, maybe 19. I might've even been 20. I don't know, <laughs> but it was way, I mean, a long time ago. <laughs> um, okay. So moving on, uh, candy RCA asks, is there a brand that you have tried and would never recommend? There are actually two, uh, two lines of bags that I have tried and I, I, ugh, I'm going to get a lot of dirty looks for one of them. <laughs> uh, but the first one is actually Gwen Stefani's line, which is lamb and it stands for Le uh, love angel music baby. And I actually had, I think five or six bags from her line and, um, Oh man, that they tend to use a lot of glue <laughs> to uh, to put the bags together, and over time that glue ends up turning whatever it's around a different color. So, for example, I had a black and uh, black and white bag, a leather bag from from Lamb. It was uh, it was gorgeous. It was a beautiful bag, and um, uh, the glue that held the uh, kind of like the little rivets and the leather pieces together it started to turn color. The glue started to turn yellow, almost like, I mean, this is hideous color. It was almost brown kind of yellow. It was hideous. So not only did it turn the leather that color, it started turning the, the patent leather handles that color. And at first I'm like, okay, I can, I can kind of, <laughs> I can kind of, you know, dodge it. So you, you don't really see it. But when I'd set it down, I know it was there and it drove me nuts. It, that is not a good look for a bag. Glue of any, of any kind is not attractive. So, uh, I was very disappointed. I, I got rid of all those bags and then I don't, almost don't want to mention the next one because <laughs> I think a lot of people are going to give, like I said, give me dirty looks, but it is actually Burberry bags. Uh, it's a little bit of both kinds as far as the coated canvas that they have, which is the, um, the, uh, the original print, the, uh, the plaid, and then there's the leather. So I'll, I'll tackle the plaid first. Um, the plaid I don't like for one huge reason. Um, I have noticed that the plaid, I think it's called Nova check, uh, Burberry bags look like replicas. And I mean, they are the authentic bags and they're, uh, I cannot get over how much they look like they're replicas already. Um, on top of the fact that they are, they are replicated. So it's not a good look. <laughs> uh, so that's one reason why I don't like those bags. And another reason why I don't like the, uh, the leather Burberry bags is because I had one that was, I think I paid $1,400 for it. And I think a few months later or the next year, uh, Nordstrom did a, a yearly sale, semi-yearly sale. And that exact same bag that I paid $1,400 for, which is a very pretty penny. Um, I think I saw it on there for, oh my, it was, it was so disappointing. I saw it for like 380 bucks or $400. So that's a huge difference. That's a thousand dollar loss on a bag. So that's why I tend to stick to LV and Chanel because um, when I say that they maintain their value or when that they increase in value, it's not so much that, that they increase in value, it's just that they maintain their value. So if you were to buy a bag that's two thousand dollars, you might sell it for the two thousand, if not maybe a hair under what you paid for. Uh, so depending upon obviously the quality, but, um, it, not only that their bags increase in value. So if you have a bag that once upon a time was $1,200 with their bi-yearly sales uh, or their bi-yearly increases, that bag will end up being 17, maybe 15 or 15 to $1,700 within a year. So, um, I, I really, I really do appreciate LV and Chanel for those two reasons. <laughs> uh, okay. So, let's move on. 
Um, and I'm going to tend to keep these videos under 15 minutes uh, because I don't like to bore you guys. I never want to bore you guys. So uh, I'm going to keep it as low as possible. Um, okay, so Craven5 asks, what do you think of Hermes accessories and bags? I absolutely love Hermes accessories. Their scarves, their jewelry. I mean, if they are fabulous. Uh, the click clacks, the, the enamel bangles, and I just, I absolutely love them. I hope one day to have uh, an accessory. Well, I have a scarf that I got when I was in Paris, uh, but I hope in the near future to have a, uh, a Hermes uh, jewelry piece in my collection. And as far as their bags, um, I absolutely love their bags. I think they're gorgeous. I just don't think they're for me. Um, and in that same kind of topic, Aileen Marotta, Marotta and Archna Saraswat, are you considering in the future to invest in an Hermes? So I kind of wanted to lump those together. Um, I don't see myself in the future investing in an Hermes. Um, I, can, I can definitely appreciate the the labor that goes into these bags and how, I mean, the quality that is the Birkin. Uh, but I don't, like I said, I don't think they're for me. I will stick to my Chanel's and I will stick to my LV's. But as of right now, I don't think in the future I, I see an Hermes. And I, you know what I do like about Hermes though, especially the Birkin? I absolutely love the simplicity of it. It's not a very... Um, I mean, the structure of the bag is beautiful. It's not, it's not too, it's not busy. You know what I mean? It's the simplicity of it that makes it beautiful, but it's just not for me, <laughs> which is actually a good thing. Cause I can't even, <laughs> I can't even imagine. Um, okay. So let's see. I have two more. Uh, the beautiful Belinda Jess asks a hypothetical question. If money was no ob object and you could do whatever you wanted as a job, what would it be? And that is very, very simple. <laughs> I would be a florist. Uh, I love flowers. I always like to try to make my own arrangements at home. Um, when my husband brings me flowers or I like to buy flowers um, at, you know, at the, at the market and stuff like that. I just, I absolutely love flowers. Um, I just, I like what they mean. I, I like that they mean happiness. I like that they mean joy. And um, although there are some occasions when flowers are given that are not the best occasions, but I, I, I love it. I really, I, I, I wish I almost, I can almost picture, I've always talked about this before, like with friends and family. Um, I see myself in like a small town, like a small, small town where everybody knows each other's name and I'm the local florist and everybody comes in and we talk, uh, you know, we talk about random things and, um, I just have an array of roses and, and lilies and just beautiful, gardenias everywhere. So florist, hands down. That is such a great question. <laughs> so thank you so much, Belinda Jess, for that wonderful, wonderful question. <laughs> um, okay. And then I also have a nuts. I keep putting it aside. <laughs> okay. Let me just have to keep going through these because I'm not very prepared. So I apologize. <laughs> okay. So some Somerset 76, I think I'm saying that right, it's, it's spelt like Somerset, asked, what do you think about all the haters that you get on your channel? What do you think about all the thumbs up that you get? Uh, does it make you upset? Does it make you want to stop doing this? Uh, <laughs> that's a good question, and that'll be the last question I answer for this uh, session. Um, haters, I don't even pay attention to them. Not at all, because honestly, I think it takes um, it takes a lot of guts to put yourself out there because it's not like it's my family watching or it's just my friends. It's the entire world that I am available to. 
So I am comfortable enough and I'm confident enough that I don't have to worry about a hater. I mean, obviously, um, there are trolls out there that will sit there and they will uh, try to bring you down. I am not one of those, so I will never address them. This is probably the only time on my entire channel that you will hear me address it uh, because I don't believe in giving in and, and talking about them and wasting my time about it. So haters, I don't really pay attention to them. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to do me. If you want to watch me, fabulous. If you want to be friends, awesome. If you don't want to watch me, then bye-bye. <laughs> it's just that simple. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Um, but that is all I have for you guys. And um, so I, I, I absolutely love these Minx Mondays Q&A. So send me your questions, put them down below and I'll make sure to keep answering them as long as you guys keep answering questions. <laughs> um, but also I wanted to let you guys know, uh, the reason why I was so busy last week, uh, and I didn't really want to say is because I had just gotten back from, uh, well, today I just got back from New Orleans. Uh, my hubby and I have vacation, so even this whole next week, uh, we're not going to be going anywhere, really. Um, we're just going to be puttering around here, there, running errands. No, not running errands, just shopping mostly. <laughs> um, but uh, we were in New Orleans, so I really couldn't, uh, I didn't want to, you know, say what I was, what I was doing. But, um yeah, so I thought I'd share that with you guys. And I want to show you guys the goodies that I got when I was there. So I will be doing a video later this week. And uh, as I said, that is all I have for you guys. I'm so sorry to be uh, at 16 minutes, but I will see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.